to the very first Parents in Waiting Conference 2017. Infertility is the inability to conceive after having regular sexual intercourse. Sex sharpens your mind. It eases your stress. It's not easy for people to wait for baby to come. It was a very colorful wedding. The brightest and most colorful all the guests had attended in a long time. I was so confident I would take him immediately. Kia, kia. The first month, nothing. Second, third, ah, one year, two, three, seven years after marriage, and not even a single sign of pregnancy, much less a miscarriage. Still birth, uncle, nothing. Ah. God, it's not fair, eh? I was a virgin when I married her. I didn't even do kurukere with my husband before we married her. Eh? Eh? The most we did were a few kisses. But I did not allow his chair to touch my own. And I never slept overnight in his place. Ah, I was faithful to your every word, though. Look at Matilda. Matilda has four children. Four healthy children, boys and girls. Who went to Unilag here? Eh? Ah, if you did... You must have heard about Matilda Rossman. She was a hundred percent trans girl. Ah, Matilda slept with all the politicians in the last dispensation. Yet, Matilda got married immediately after graduation and had her children, one after the other. No break, no jam. Uche Uko, that one is not even married. Yet she has three children for three different men. And the men are supporting their children with our allow. Matilda is now enjoying her life as a single parent. Ah, God, all these people have seen them, but yet you spied on them and gave them all children. What did I do, eh? So repeatedly, I asked and queried God for answers. I ran from pillar to post in search of options for conception. Everywhere I went, it was the same thing. There's nothing wrong with you, madam. Your ovaries are producing eggs regularly. We lie, madam. Your pilopian tubes are not blocked or damaged in any way. Huh, madam? All your reproductive organs are in very good position. There is no reason that you are a gaga not born in children's. What then is the problem? What is the problem, Kanka? Okonu hmm. Ayerada. Hey, I told my son, oh, I told him when he wanted to marry this girl. I said, hey, hey, let her get pregnant first, yo, before wedding, yo. Hey, they both said my mouth is smelling. Whose mouth is smelling now? Eh? One, two, three, seven years of marriage. We have not had pa, we have not had po. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Never before have five syllables strung together to make a word so potent. Been the cause of such heartache, despair, and self-doubt. Makes a woman feel less than one, second-guessing herself, thinking she brought shame to her home, her society, and her husband. Five syllables strung together to form a word that in certain circles has been deemed as an unspeakable disease. When my sister here told me about the gathering, I knew I have to come. Though to be honest, I never thought it was such a big gathering. You see, she's not only a friend of mine, she is a sister. A pastor she is, yes, and a Muslim I am. I thank God for this wonderful, wonderful person. I was given a list of 18 people and I was told to prayerfully take who to pick and I was wondering, I said, it's a very difficult task. It became a burden for me. I had to add two more names which I will have to pay for myself. Funke Adewo Ijola Osho is here. 
tell her Atamako is not here. Safiat Bariba is here. Esther Ikalia is here. Well, uh, first of all, we want to take this time to appreciate, celebrate Pastor Yitwai Godalu and uh, Ibidoni Godalu. She came and, uh, <clears throat> oh God. I said, Bido, where are we going to find the money for 10 people going through IVF, this and that? She didn't even answer me. She said, now you're only they talk. I said, Bido, let's, you know, take it easy, this and that. She said, she's just going full speed ahead with this thing. And one thing I know about my wife is that when she's determined to do something, she's determined to do that thing. Nothing can stop her from doing what she wants to do. Nothing. Uh, please help me to put your hands together for Mrs. Ibiduni Itwa Igodalo.